One of the exercises that I've kept hearing again and again and again from people like David Goggins, Grant Cardone, and Dan Pena is to think about your goals. You write them down and then look at your time, look at your day, and actually write down how much of your day, which actions during your day were productive and actually moved you forward towards your goals, and which actions and what time spent was spent not doing anything productive, not doing anything that actually moves you, moves you towards your goals. Now, I had this issue where every time I saw this thing, I would either not do it because I thought, oh, I'm above it, it's beneath me, or I would do the exercise, but I would do it in a very half, haphazard way, just kind of like write it down, be like, okay, yeah, blah, 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 next. Now, in the last few months, I've really learned the importance of this, not just exercise, but just way of living where you want to write down your goals every single morning and every single night and you want to ask yourself continually during the day is what i'm doing right now moving me towards my goals or is it not and the answer should be a clear-cut yes or no because some people think that let's say you go go to a conference or a party and you talk to people And then you think, well, is this moving me towards my goal of becoming successful? And then you might say, maybe, because I'm talking to people and you never know what would happen. But this is what I call the lottery mentality. Let's, you know, live it up to luck and hope it works well. That's not the way of the successful people. What you want to do is ask yourself, is what I'm doing directly moving me towards my goal? Right now, tangibly moving me towards it, whether it be money, fitness, love, whatever your goals may be. So if you're sitting down and you want to get healthier, you want to get more fit, and what you're doing is talking about fitness, thinking about fitness, uh, hanging out with people who talk about fitness, but you're not actually doing fitness right now, you're not actually doing push-ups, pull-ups, running, any sort of exercise, you're not actually moving towards your goal. Same with money. If you plan an idea for a business, you make a really good plan, or you start executing a strategy that's very long-term and will only make money in the near months, you're not actually moving towards your goal. The only indicator of if you're moving towards your goal or not is whether you're actually taking actions which move you forward now with statistics, with results that you can actually show So make sure you follow this rule. If you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. Now, am I saying there's nothing intangible in life? Of course not. But what would you rather depend on? Would you rather depend on a gut feeling or an emotion? Or would you rather look at numbers, look at actual math, at facts, and use that to base your judgment? I know for me, every time that I made an emotional decision in life, every time I disregarded data, or just felt, you know, this is what intuitively feels right. Without looking at data, I got punished by it. Why? Because there's a lot of people on earth that are perfectly happy to go with their intuition. It's just a biological drive and some people know how to take care, how to uh, take advantage of that. So make sure you use math in your life. Make sure you use statistics. Measure everything that you wanna improve in your life and then you'll start seeing results. Also, make sure that you validate everything that you want in your life. Every time I get money, it doesn't matter if it's a $2,000 sale, if it's a $15,000 salary, or if it's a $99 sale or a $999 sale. Anytime I get money, no matter how much or how little, I make sure to celebrate it. I make sure to validate it. I look at it. I thank for it. It doesn't matter if you believe in God, in Allah, Buddha, if you believe in the universe, if you just believe in yourself. Make sure to thank for it, to say, I love this. Thank you for the money. Thank you for me getting what I want. Even if it's just a bit, even if it's just pennies. Anytime you get what you want, even if it's a bit, make sure to thank for it because if you don't, you're gonna lose that too. So this was a quick lesson about focus, about being goal-driven, target-driven, and using statistics and validating your goals. If you have any question about this topic, feel free to ask in the comments and I'd love to help you. Check out my book in the description, Evolution of a Maniac, which will help you shortcut your way to success by teaching you the biggest mistakes that I've made that personally hurt me a lot and also the lessons I've learned from them and also the lessons I learned from all of my successful activities. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.